Let's have focus to Bolivia now. The country is witnessing the beginning of a power struggle and at the receiving end of growing protests is incumbent president, Luis Arce. On Monday, members of the indigenous community took to the streets calling for the president's resignation. Hundreds of protesters began blocking roads after former president Evo Morales called on his supporters to take to the streets. Earlier in the day, Morales and his supporters began a day-long march to the capital. The government does not take us into account. On the contrary, when we demand or claim something, they beat us with unions, they persecute us, they wage a media war on social media against us, saying that we are supporters of Evo Morales. But this is completely false. What we are asking for are our rights as an Aymara nation. The chain of events can be traced back to Sunday when Bolivian president accused his former mentor and ex-president Morales of trying to overthrow him. Evo, you have decided to start a march, hunger strikes and a nationwide road blockade, and you are not doing it for life, democracy or the economy. We all know that. You are doing it to impose your candidacy, whether by fair means or foul as you yourself have said. Morales served as Bolivia's first indigenous president and has vowed to unleash unrest if he is stopped from running for elections in August next year. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.